Right, hello and welcome. Here's another video. I've got another little project on which is for a friend. He, uh, he sells a lot of things on eBay such as uh, bolts, titanium bolts and mech hangers for bikes. So he's asked me to make a camera rig for him that'll basically, on the stepper motor, it'll turn a certain amount, so about three degrees, take a picture using this button here, then turn again and keep going until you've got nine, 100 pictures and then he's going to make it into a rotating image to go on his eBay listing so I'm just going to do this quick project for him, I've already wrote the code uh, I might show you that in the next video if this one gets a bit long I'll just show you what I'm going to do so here's a button that activates his camera I've already 3D printed something there for it the case to put it all in, obviously the step motor, a servo to press the button We've got a little stepper motor driver here just from a 3D printer. A little Arduino just to run the code. That's to go on top of there to give him a bit more area to put his things on. And then that's to put a cable in through the hole and then just extend the cable away so he doesn't have to have it all next to the camera. So I've already 3D printed some bits. So this will go on here like this. And then push on there, it's a nice fit. And the servo will go through here. Like this. And obviously I'm going to rotate that arm around so it'll actually be able to click the button. That's that bit. And then this is just a little case where the wires and the stepper motor can neatly go inside. And then I'm going to use just a bit of wire to go in the hole. So I think first things first is to get this wire made off. So, so I'll just trim these wires off here. Just taking the knot out of there, I think I'm just gonna use a tie wrap actually. Just wrap it round because the knot seems to be pulling itself out. So I'll just Bear these wires off here. Looks like these have just been pressed into here, so hopefully, you should just be able to pull them out. They're all ready to go. I'm just going to fire up the soldering iron, just get it ready. Right, so as you've seen me do before, I'm just going to tin all the wires for you. These are already actually tinned, but I'll just put a bit more on. A bit of shrink hose. Doesn't really matter what colours go where, I'm just going to do it. Any old how and then sort where they connect later. So that's how it'll look. I'll just use some double sided just to stick that together in case I ever want to get back into it. I'll cut that wire off now. Right, I think the next stage is I want to take the pins out of this driver because the board is going to fit in here. This is just going to fit next to it and then I think I'm going to just take them out and then just double side them down once I've got them out. all done. So I'll just, I'm just going to deepen this. I'll do it off camera because it looks like it might take quite a while. All I'm going to do is just going to hold my soldering iron on one and just pull the pin out of the bottom. I think I've done this in one of my other videos on the uh, on the tricop on the tri cops that I've made. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I just show you the last couple. What I did first, I just prized the black bit off the bottom that keep, holds all the pins together, and it makes it a lot easier. And just heat your pin up. Just pull it out. 
You might want a quite a hot soldering iron for this to, I think I'm at about 300 degrees C. So, just so you can heat, heat the pin up enough. And that's it. So now I'm just going to directly solder onto here because it's all staying put in the box so I don't really need it to come apart. Also I've just drilled some holes in the bottom of the box, one for this wire from the, from the motor and I've put another one because I'm going to I'm going to extend this wire, I'm going to chop this off here, this is just where it got it got broken once so I'm just going to desolder that and then I'm going to put a wire around here and just put it nicely onto here and just extend it a bit so you can put that next to the camera when you're running the system. Right, so there's the wires bared off again. Right, the way to check which wires are for which coil on a stepper motor, if you just put two of the wires together and turn the motor, you should be able to feel the resistance. So there you go, I can feel a resistance now on the brown and blue. So these two I should feel the resistance as well. There you go again. So harder to turn the motor. So they're the two pairs. So brown and blue, black and white. And then these, on the bottom of your stepper driver, you can just see here, you've got a... A1, B1, 2A, sorry, on the back of you, you've got 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So obviously you just want one coil, one coil in, one side of the coil across uh, number one, and then the other coil across number two. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I've done is I've just cleared out all the holes with the solder sucker. Just heat it up and then just suck it out. So for these I'm not going to tin them because they'll get slightly bigger when they get tinned. So what I'll do is I'll just put one through. Make sure I get all the strands. And just solder them one at a time. Oh, the wire just keeps pulling itself out so I'm going to get I'm ready with a bit of solder on my own just to dab it in and then I'll solder another one and then I'll come back to this one and re-solder it. I'm going to redo them. I'm going to make them exactly the same length. Right, I'm going to cut this back again. It's got two short, so I'll just sort that out. Right, so it was quite hard to do that actually, because the wires are just about the right size for the holes. So, there you see, blue, brown, white, black. Here we've got one here and two here below. So we need to add some more wires in now. We need some wires to, for the motor voltage, some 5 volts from the actual microcontroller. We need to step. And I think we need the enable and also these these pins here for MS one, two, and three of your micro step. I'm just gonna have a look what settings I need to um use on them ones. Uh and I'll come back again. Right, so I just made up two little wiring harnesses. This is gonna have the battery voltage coming in. One will go to the motor driver and the other one will go to the Arduino. One's for plus voltage, one's for for the ground. So that's just going to go to V in and ground on the Arduino. And then on the back here, you'll have a ground and a VDD. Uh, sorry, no. It'll go to the VMOT and ground here. And then from the Arduino, there's going to be 5 volts coming across. It'll go to VDDD, VDD, and then the ground as well coming across into the ground. Right, so what I've done is I've taken the battery voltage and connected it to V in on the Arduino and ground. And also I've taken the battery voltage again and connected it to 
ground and VMOT on the stepper driver. Then I've taken another 5 volts coming out of the board to VDD and then I've taken another ground going to the board to ground again. So basically it's supplying it with 5 volts and then the battery voltage which is I think it can be 5 to 25 volts. So now I'm going to connect my servo signal pin oh, and also when I've done that I've also connected 5 volts and ground for the servo. Uh, now I'm going to connect my servo signal pin to pin 9 on the Arduino and then I'm going to connect my two, my step and direction. I'm going to connect step to digital 13 and then I'm going to connect direction to digital 12 even though I'm not using it, it's just to hold it hold it down low. And then I th on, on, the, on the stepper driver you just connect sleep and reset together and then it should work by itself without any external need for anything else. So I'll just do that and then I'll come back. So you can see there I've connected in my step and direction, so my direction's yellow and my step is green. So then the green just goes to D13 and the yellow goes to D12. Um, now I just need to connect the other end of my wire into my servo here in the same colours I've used here. So I've used brown, black and white. So I'm just going to cut that off and do it now. I'll cut it off at the same length as the motor wire and I'll solder that up and then that should be about finished then. Oh, I need to connect this sleep and enable together. I'm just going to use a little bit of the pin that I took off. I'm just going to cut it down and just solder it across like a little jumper. So now I'm just going to connect the servo together. I'm going to go black to black, white to white and brown to red on there. Right, so I've just connected them up and that should be about it now I think. So I slide that up there. That's just a bit of sheave to go over everything. And there's another one to go over the top of that one. I think I'm just going to check it first before I um, put everything, finalise everything. So what I'll do is I'll just get a battery and I'll connect it on here and we'll just see if it actually works. This will be the first test you're going to see, so I'll put that servo there. I'll just get a battery and I'll connect it up. Right, so I'm going to power it on now for the first time. As you can see that the So as you can see the servo's turned the wrong way, so I'm gonna have to turn it round in the code. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that heat shrink on there. And I've got another one to go over the top to bridge the gap. Hold that in position to cool, so it cools in place. 